The launch of Space Shuttle missions was governed by a countdown. Two clocks were maintained, the unofficial, but sometimes mentioned, L launch clock represented the time remaining before the scheduled launch in real time, and the more often referred to T test clock included several built-san holds where additional verifications were made. Built-san holds were extended if mission parameters allowed for additional checks or to correct issues. Launches of the Space Shuttle to the International Space Station did not allow for holds to be extended due to the launch window which was limited to no more than 10 minutes due to the 90-minute orbit period of the station and speed of Earth's rotation 913.6 miles per hour 1470.3 kilometers per hour at the Kennedy Space Center which puts the launch pads 1000 miles 1600 kilometers east of the station on its next orbit. Milestones Call to stations, approximately 72 hours before launch time T-43 hours and counting Begin final vehicle and facility closeouts for launch Check out backup flight systems Review flight software stored in mass memory units and display systems Load backup flight system software into the orbiter's general purpose computers Remove MIDIC and flight deck platforms Activate and test navigational systems Complete preparation to load power reactant storage and distribution system Complete flight deck preliminary inspections T-27 hours and holding This was the first built-san hold and typically lasted four hours. Clear launch pad of all non-essential personnel Begin loading cryogenic propellants into orbiter's power reactant storage and distribution system T-27 hours and counting Begin loading of cryogenic reactants into the orbiter's fuel cell storage tanks T-19 hours and holding This built-san hold typically lasted four hours, but was extended if PRSD offload is required. During this hold, Deem at the orbiter's mid-body umbilical unit Clean and vacuum crew module External tank nose cone purge T-19 hours and counting Begin final preparations of the orbiter's three main engines for main propellant tanking and flight Fill launch pad sound suppression system water tank Resume orbiter and ground support equipment close-outs Close out the tail service masts on the mobile launcher platform T-11 hours and holding This built-san hold varied between 13 and 14 hours. Weather and engineering briefings Pad debris inspection and closeout Flight crew equipment late stow Move rotating service structure to «park» position Activate the orbiter's inertial measurement units and communications systems Perform ascent switch list T-11 hours and counting Activate the orbiter's fuel cells Clear the blast danger area of all non-essential personnel Switch the orbiter's purge air to gaseous nitrogen T6 hours and holding This built-san hold typically lasted 2 hours, or 1 hour for a 24 or 48 hour scrub. Countdown may be resumed at this point after a 24-hour scrub – turnaround
Mission management team and launch director receive weather update Launch team verifies no violations of launch commit criteria before loading the external tank with propellants Chill down of propellant transfer lines Begin tanking, loading the external tank with about 500,000 gallons of cryogenic propellants Topic T6 hours and counting The external tank was inspected for frost and debris The external tank was checked for concentration of H2 around the orbiter Finish filling the external tank with its flight load of liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen propellants Topic T3 hours and holding This built sand hold typically lasted two and a half hours. External tank loading enters stable replenish Perform inertial measurement unit pre-flight calibration Align Merit Island launch area tracking antennas Final inspection team proceeds to the launch pad to conduct a detailed analysis of the vehicle as the team walks up and down the entire launch tower Closeout crew proceeds to the launch pad to configure the crew module for countdown and launch and assist the astronauts with entry into the orbiter Televised weather briefing Flight crew weather briefing Astronaut support person enters crew module and begins comm checks <laughs> T3 hours and counting Crew departs for the launch pad and, upon arriving at the pad, begins entry into the orbiter via the white room Complete closeout preparations in the launch pad's white room Check cockpit switch configurations Astronauts perform air-to-ground voice checks with Launch Control Kennedy Space Center and Mission Control Johnson Space Center. Close the orbiter's crew hatch and check for leaks Complete white room close out. Close out crew retreats to fall back area. Topic T twenty minutes and holding. This built sand hold typically lasted ten minutes. NASA test director conducts final launch team briefings. Complete inertial measurement unit preflight alignments. Topic T twenty minutes and counting. Once the countdown resumed, the orbiters on board computers transition to launch configuration. Start fuel cell thermal conditioning. Close orbiter cabin vent valves. Transition backup flight system to launch configuration. Topic T nine minutes and holding. This was the final built sand hold, and varied in length depending on the mission. During the hold, final launch window determination Activate flight recorders Final, go, no go, launch polls conducted by NASA test director, mission management team and launch director T9 minutes and counting Once the countdown resumed, start automatic ground launch sequencer. Retract orbiter access arm T7 minutes 30 seconds. Topic T5 minutes and counting. Start auxiliary power units. Arm solid rocket booster range safety safe and arm devices. Start orbiter aerosurface profile test, followed by main engine gimbal profile test T3 minutes, 55 seconds. Retract gaseous oxygen vent arm, or beanie cap T2 minutes, 50 seconds. Crew members close and lock their visors T2 minutes, 0 seconds. Orbiter transfers from ground to internal power T50 seconds. 
Ground launch sequencer is go for auto sequence start T31 seconds. Activate launch pad sound suppression system T16 seconds. Topic T10 seconds and counting. Activate main engine hydrogen burn-off system T10 seconds. Ground launch sequencer commands main engine start T6 6 seconds. Topic T0 seconds. Solid rocket boosters ignite. Explosive bolts release the boosters. Shuttle stack lifts off from launch pad.